welcome back to Other Mitch Without Any Tits. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, not for you probably, but it has for me. I've not been, I've not actually filmed for about a week and a half, two weeks now. But I'm back into it because I had quite a bit of things banked up, so I thought it'd give me a bit of a bit of breathing room. Anyway, cut to the chase. My name's Corinne and I'm your host, and today I'm going to make some beef jerky. Now, I did make some about two weeks ago as a tester, just to see what it would turn out like. I'm not a massive beef jerky fan, but I tried some of Kent's when we were out on the uh, golf course a couple of weeks ago. And I thought, do you know what, it's not actually that bad. I think some, some brands are nicer than others. He had one that were quite nice. So I thought, do you know what, I wonder if I can make it. So I found a few recipes and I tried some and it was actually really nice. So I'm going to try and make a different recipe tonight. Um, and I thought, I'll put the recipe up at the end so you can have a go yourself if you choose to do so. But this is the one where um, Kent you can have this one. I'm making this one for you when we go to Telford in a few weeks time. So I'll start by making the sauce. Um, so first of all you want about a half a cup of light soy sauce so you don't want it too salty um, because there's, there's enough sort of salt in a lot of other um, ingredients that's going anyway so you don't want to be adding salt to it. Some recipes do actually add, add some salt to it um, if you have dark soy sauce, that can be a little bit too uh, much as well. So, I mean, this, I'm not going to lie, this bottle I've got for the soy sauce isn't great. And there's the half a cup. Half a cup is around about um, 125 mils. Something like that. That's about right. And I'll put a bit more in for good measure. So about 125 mils of uh, light soy sauce. Into that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of honey. Yummy, yummy. So if you are, I mean, I was going to make, I was going to say a stupid thing like if you're going to make this as a veggie or vegan option, but you won't be doing that because it's uh, meat. But you may be able to do some sort of jerky with dried vegetables, maybe. But if you are sort of doing this, you can change the honey for um, like a gave nectar. I mean, I wonder if you could do, this, you could actually do like a dehydrated vegetables and put this kind of sauce on. I don't know, try it. Someone have, someone give, give it a go and let me know what it's like. Anyway. Um, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce. So I'm using Henderson's relish, but it's very similar to Worcester sauce. Worcester, Worcestershire sauce. Can't even say it. Just one tablespoon of that as well. There is loads and loads of recipes out there for uh, beef jerky, so have a look at a few and just sort of have a little bit, bit you know, play around and see what flavours you like and what you don't. Uh, teaspoon of onion salt. The one that I made the other week, you put brewed coffee into it. It was really nice, but this one hasn't got coffee in it. This is just um, everything else, pretty basically. Um, a teaspoon of garlic granules. Now you can use papri smoked paprika, but all in the recipes that I found, you use um, liquid smoke. Now I found this, it's gnaw, and it's um, a deep smoke liquid seasoning. It's basically like a stock. He's put a table, sorry, a teaspoon of that into it as well. And that's what helps to give it that smoky flavour. So once that's all in, just give it a mix around. Do you know it smells really nice already? And that is ready for the bag. Leave that to sit for a while while we sort the beef out. Now, when it comes to the beef, quite a big slab of beef there. You want to start by cutting the fat off. Now, the recipes that I've found say it's best to use um, silver side of beef. Um, I think certain meats probably wouldn't, wouldn't be suitable for it because it's not got the right texture and the right sort of um, meaty consistency because obviously some parts of the, of, the, of the beef are more moist and less um, cartilagey than others. I don't even know what the words are here, but you know what I mean. Use silver side if you can. 
uh, or flank, that's a good one. So you're going to be cutting it so, that, so the, the grain of the meat goes that way. You're going to be cutting it against the grain. So you can see this is quite a lean, a lean uh, bit of, of beef. And that's what you want, lean beef. So you need to be cutting this bit of fat off here uh, before I then cut it into slices and then cut it into strips. Now you can just cut it into slices um, and put it into marinade, but I prefer to get it all ready to go. Um, and then once it's dehydrated, I'll just eat it. So I'll just cut this. You don't have to like proper get rid of every single bit, but the majority of it you do need to get rid of. So there we go. Majority of it is now being cut off. So I say grains going that way. So you're going to slice fairly thin slices, and you want them to be this way down. Don't worry about it if they are slightly thicker, because you can just kind of like make the, the strips a little bit thinner. What you can do as well is put it in the freezer um, for about an hour or so, and that will help you to slice it. Um, so this is kind of what you're looking for. There's your, your slice. And you're cutting it into strips. Do them as thick or as thin as you want. And that is basically it. And once you've done that, pop them into a um, into a bag, ready for the marinade. So the last thing to do is just pour the marinade into the, the bag of beef. I'm not gonna lie, there's quite a bit of beef there. There's more than there was last time. I obviously got a bigger uh, bigger joint of beef this time. Um, be fine. Just give it a bit of a, a tease. So the beef will kind of like try and stick together. Right, you basically, want to try and get all get all them flavours around all of these. Okay. So that's that. Smells divine. So the last thing left to do is basically you're going to marinate this for about 48 hours. It may seem like a long time, but a bit of honey there. Give me an air, a bit of honey. Uh, you basically, you want to give time for all the flavours to infuse into the beef, basically. So, seal this bag up, and at least I can kind of give it a bit of a manipulate. Get them flavour to both ends of the beef. So pop that in the fridge. And say, give it a bit of a shake in 24 hours' time, and then in 48 hours we'll come back, have a look at it, and get it in the dehydrator. Now, if you haven't got a dehydrator, don't worry. You can do it in the oven. It just takes um, I think a little bit longer in the oven. But we'll, excuse me, we'll explain that when we get there. So stay tuned. We'll see what this ends up like. So this has been marinating now for a couple of days. It's not gone the full 48 hours, but anywhere, anywhere over 24 hours is sufficient. But obviously the longer you leave it, the more flavour gets infused into the into meat. Now these are my um, Ninja dehydrated It's basically it's an air crisper that is air, air crisping, air frying, dehydrating, uh, roasting, and um, reheat and bake. So I'm using the dehydrate function. If you don't have something that will dehydrate it, don't worry, you can still use your, your, your normal oven. You set it to about 70 to 75 degrees centigrade and it will be in there for about five to six hours, if not a little bit. Depends on how thick you've cut your meat, essentially. The thinner you cut it, the, the, the lower time it is. The thicker it is, it needs to be in for a little bit longer. So I uh, will get this put into, the, uh, into these uh, trays and then we can go into the dehydrator for five, six hours and see what happens. So you simply going to lay the, the meat down. As much in as you can, but don't overload it because you can put more in. 
This is where it might be easier in the oven because you can probably fit more in the oven. So obviously you've got your wire wraps to hand this over. These will go in the oven for about five, uh, into the dehydrator for about five hours. I'll put this time on for six and check them after five and see where we're at. In the meantime, here's some I made earlier. So you can see there are some, some of them are a little bit thicker than others, some of them are quite thin and crispy. But these are ideal to take on the golf course or just have in your cupboards, you know, just a snack on, just like a healthy snack. So Try it yourself. Try with some different recipes, you know. Just mix it up a bit, put more soy sauce, less soy sauce, more spices, more garlic, whatever you want in. And just see what see what uh, flavours you like and have a go. Let me know what you think. So of course, let's do a taste test. Beef jerk is very chewy. Oh, hmm. They do quite like me to make this because it keeps me quiet for a while while I'm chewing it. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe, hit that subscribe and the like. And we'll see you next time in the uh, kitchen. Oh, other mitts without any tits.